buildings where he does the plumbing, or he did the plumbing. It's all finished. He did a good job. The building. Alan was just uh, going by and inspecting, checking, see how everything was. The poor air conditioning fella is behind schedule, didn't finish on time, and it's costing him a thousand dollars a day until he finishes. Alan finished right on time. Hello. Jason and Donna. He's, he's my lovely wife, Donna. <laughs> <laughs> We've been married 15 months and still here we are. Like, <laughs> and Donna is still ticklish. All right, here's a, uh, a map or a picture of Owen and Linda's 20 acres, and Owen's going to tell us a little bit about it now. Here we go. You're Hi. on. Hi. This is the uh, main road that we front here. This is our neighbour's house here, which has got an external swimming pool and an internal swimming pool, and a four car, four car garage. This is our house here with the big wide roof. This is the home paddock, if you like, um, and we're right on top of the ridge, going down the hill here to the dam, where we have a, a fully stocked uh, dam with fish and their silver perch, and we have three horses that have grown the 28 attached to this part of the facility. Uh, the Down here there's another road which also is bound to our property. As you can see the grass grows greener over the septic tank. There's a septic line here. There's a shed. The big water tanks, these are large underground concrete water tanks that hold 15,000 gallons. And this on the back here is the dance room that we're currently standing in. Now at the front is a carport or uh, a drive-through entrance. That's about it, I don't know. Good, I'm going to uh, bring a close-up of it now, just to show. Okay. Hi, Peter. Hi. Hi, Heather. Hi. <laughs> this is Peter's best friend there. Well, here comes David. Yeah, and here's <laughs> David. All three of them. club where Riva and her friends played bingo every Tuesday afternoon. I'm going in now. Maybe she's one from bingo, Riva, Re uh, Rita, and her friend from England, Tony and Margaret. They're good friends with them. Seven, very lucky. Mike's been the caller, Mike and his wife. Very nice chat. A very nice chat. Thank you, Paul. Please have come here for the first time today. I appreciate all you girls holding off on letting the newcomers win two first off. Two on their first day. Makes it feel good that way. And especially for Rita up there, would you believe Rita, as I introduced to you a couple of uh, going there, how are you in here, Rita? Two months. She's all the way from. Uh, this is the um, house, the art of the house that we stayed in in 1990 when we came. Uh, uh, Hi, this is the kookaburra. Yeah. No, he's right there. Probably wondering who we are. Well, he's liable to take off in a minute. Well, Rita's going to uh, feed him something right out of her hand. <laughs> Look at that. He seems very comfortable. Is that meat, Rita? Yes. It's mince. <laughs> You see, so Very what good. he's doing, he kills everything he gets. Look at the coloring. The coloring of the wings. Hello, sweetheart. There's the proud and tired grandma <laughs> taking care of, is it Daniel? David. 
David. David. Oh, I hear something over here. Some people are lucky, Dave. Yeah, some people are lucky. Yeah. Did you know well, they say money goes to money. Yeah, right. Hi, David. Hi, David. Hi. Our friend, he still doesn't want to leave. He knows a good deal when he sees it. This is Di's garden, her rock garden. A lot of the work herself. This is a cage that I ran into the cockatoos. They're not there anymore, though. And here's where they um, kept the galahs and some of their parrots. And we have the pool. Beautiful backyard.